Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this little play, a little share and play of a deck that is going to be coming soon, the Emotion Energy Cards by Don Bedell. Um, this the story behind this deck kind of goes a little bit like this. Dawn reached out to me because she had launched a Kickstarter for this deck. Um, unfortunately, that Kickstarter didn't fund, but she had sent me the deck to share with you guys on my channel, and it unfortunately didn't arrive until after the Kickstarter was completed. But that being said, um, she and, and unfortunately the Kickstarter didn't it didn't meet her goal. And she has made it pretty clear that she's cool with that. She is planning to potentially make some changes and updates to these cards and then release them in some way. I don't know if she's gonna do another Kickstarter, um, but I really wanted to share these with you and maybe do one of the spreads that she includes in the digital guidebook for this deck. These are really, really beautiful, and I wish they'd have had a little more uh, time in the sun, so to speak, to really get more attention, because I certainly hadn't heard of them until she reached out to me. And I just think that was the issue with the Kickstarter, is that nobody had really heard of these at that point. So let me zoom us in. The premise of this deck, as I understand it, is essentially to represent embodied emotions. So it's kind of the kind of emotions that you can work with, work towards, balance into, that sort of thing. But what Dawn did is focused on each of these emotions as she painted the cards. And these images are absolutely stunning. I think that she is hoping to do either maybe like a, a larger card stock, I think, for the finished deck. This is just essentially like a prototype. These cards are tarot sized, and I actually really like this size uh, for mixing with tarot decks and that sort of thing. But I also appreciate how there would be a lot more real estate for this beautiful artwork if the cards were bigger. So I could totally see both being valuable. But I just thought I'd take you through a quick little flip through of these cards and then maybe try out one of those spreads and see how we think this deck reads. I'll tell you right off the bat that one thing I really enjoy is when there's a keyword and then there's some either some subtext or some sub keywords, particularly of something like this where you're gonna be working with emotions. So here we have acceptance. Bringing in the energy of acceptance lets you release all that you're ready to let go of and move into a peaceful place. From here you can see a clear path. Attunement, also look at these backings. Aren't those stunning? Attunement. Balance. This image totally screams balance to me. Bliss. Yes, it's almost like this seed of golden light amid this like soft pink. Beautiful. Clarity. Yes, you can almost see the idea of like these like veils or these layers of things that get in the way. Compassion. Detachment. Devotion. Dharma, discernment, equality, beautiful image here, equanimity, I like that she has both, equality and equanimity, eternality, oh and there's the image from the back of the cards, beautiful, faith, flow, forgiveness, Generosity, grace, gratitude, harmlessness, harmony, humility, impeccability, joy, loyalty, Neutrality. Interesting. You can kind of almost see this idea of seeing all sides of a situation. Patience. Peace. Purity. Quiescence. The energy of quiescence is expansive. Give your mind and body time to rest, knowing that this will restore balance. From here, you'll be prepared for your next action. Samadhi. selflessness, surrender. I love the idea of sort of almost sinking into water with this image. Tolerance, trust. Feels like an enveloping kind of feeling here. Truth, 
unconditional love and unity finally wisdom I have to say when Dawn contacted me and said she had created a deck about emotions I was like oh that makes it's sort of an underrepresented area of I think Oracle is really looking at emotion I will say that I feel like emotion is almost an overly simplistic way to describe these because obviously if we were looking at just emotion we'd be looking at both light and easy and difficult emotions maybe is a better way to put it um, gentle and and challenging um, emotions and we obviously don't see things like anger and, and other emotions so I don't feel like it's meant to encompass the full spectrum of emotion I feel like the intention of these cards is really to bring us into the place of the most embodied emotions the emotions that propel us forward um, the ones that we can connect with in order to experience the most movement and growth I don't know this is just kind of my initial impressions having looked at these cards because they all have a very uplifting positive um, healing sort of energy to them um, so almost it reminds me a little bit of the idea of in the law of attraction when you when you're when your emotions are in alignment with like your highest purpose with your goals sometimes that is where you can really buoy yourself forward but I don't know those are just some initial thoughts off the cuff as I shuffle these shuffle really beautifully by the way again I don't think this is necessarily the finished um, version of these cards I do think she's going to be playing around with production to figure out whether you know what kind of card stock she wants what kind of sizing all that kind of stuff but I thought what I would do is take a look at one of the spreads that comes in the digital guidebook and here's one that I thought would be interesting so you choose a focus so work relationships health and you pick three cards a strength a challenge and an action so I'm gonna see how these read in that way particularly with that challenge position just to see um, how I would work with these more positive seeming emotions in a challenge way like will I be able to see the challenge in that in that card so let's see how it works out I'm gonna focus on me and Peggy me and Peggy set a relationship do one more so strength what did I just say those positions were strength challenge and action strength challenge and action strength challenge and action okay let's see what we get so strength trust ooh that's a good start I'm gonna zoom us in since there's only three cards here so you can see better so strength is trust challenge is purity and action is tolerance so in a relationship like if I was looking at me and Peggy how would I read these cards so I would say the strength in our relationship is definitely trust this makes so much sense um, let me read what the card says it says the energy of trust is an energy of surrender you let go suspended and held within loving protection open up your expansive awareness and trust that everything is unfolding perfectly now if I were to read this card intuitively based on that message I would say that this is telling me that the strength in our relationship is definitely trust which is true we have a very full disclosure relationship there's really nothing we don't tell each other uh, unless it's like a fun surprise kind of thing and that's definitely something that bolsters and supports us looking at the challenge we have purity here's what it says the energy of purity is pure and innocent as pure beings we enter the light at the point of birth remember that at our very core we are pure and protected by angelic forces as a challenge I would actually say that how I would interpret this card is that left to our own devices like without any sort of interference from life or from other people that the relationship itself in its purest form is is um, trusting is loving is supported and that sometimes what messes with that is those external forces or those things we can't control it's almost like purity is the default setting it's kind of reminds me of something that I say about um, mental processes around the idea of meditation and such it's like our our brains natural state is clear what comes in is our thoughts our experiences um, natural distractions from the world around us but that doesn't change that the default setting is clear right our, our heads are clear by default I don't know if I'm expressing that right and then the action is tolerance 
The energy of tolerance is inclusive and nurturing. Feel how diversity can be held in a warm, loving space where there is no conflict. Conflict. Accept and nurture individuality. This is such perfect um, action and advice for our relationship because, as a lot of you probably have gathered or have heard us chat about, Peggy is very much an extrovert, I'm very much an introvert, and we really need to make space, and we do regularly make space for each other to have our own experiences. Like Peggy, as much as I tease her, recognizes my need for quiet time and alone time, and I do my best to recognize her need for engagement and, and socializing and talking and, and intellectualizing. Um, and so we try to meet each other where we are meet each other where we are. Yeah, that's I said that right. So this is actually a really beautiful reading. I feel like these cards would do really well in conjunction with the tarot, particularly if you were to pull cards in, say, a pick-a-pile reading, or if you were reading for yourself to work with multiple decks and include a card from this deck in each spread position, along with your tarot or oracle cards or whatever else you're combining. I think in conjunction with something that's going to deal with, like, the what of a situation, having an underlying sort of emotional component to the reading could really support and lift it up and give you more context as a reader. I'm certainly going to try playing with them that way and seeing how it works out. I will definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I'll probably try it out soon so that I can have an idea of how it might work in conjunction with my with my cards. It would be interesting to see a card like Unconditional Love come up with a really difficult card in tarot, for example, and see how those messages of more like sort of uplifting emotions interplay with some of the more difficult or challenging cards in a reading. So that is really cool. Again, I will, um, not again, because I don't think I've said, I'm going to direct you to um, the website. There is a website. Is it on here? Yes, here it is. Um, DawnBedellEnergyArtist.com. And I believe there's a way you can sign up for updates about this deck there on the site. If not, there's also an email address for um, Don Bedell, which is DawnBedell.EnergyArtist at gmail.com. So if you'd like to stay in the loop about the progress of this project and see what's coming up next, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to her. Check her out on social media. I will have that website link and her email address listed in the description box of this video so that you can access it easily. So please do take a look at that when you get a chance and keep your eyes peeled. I think that she's really onto something beautiful here and I'll be interested to see how it develops. Actually, I just realized I put these away and I like to do my little fan thing. Let's fan. Let's fan. I know it's it's such a funny thing, but it's become like a, a, a tradition almost on my channel. I always fan them and lay them out all pretty at the end. There we go. Perfect. Thank you again so, so much, you guys, for joining me for this flip through and play with the emotion energy cards. Thank you again to Dawn for sending me the prototype deck so I could get my hands on it and take a little peek. And as always, remember to like, share, subscribe, do all the good things. And if you would like to book a reading with me, you can do that over at supportivetarot.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.